What's up guys, you know who I am, and I bring you Mail Time. Uh, this one came from Right Stuff. It's a uh, well, it's a website. I believe it's based on one of the states in the US, but luckily I don't have to pay tax for this, but this is a single Blu-ray package. And let's see what it is. Well, I know what it is, but you guys don't, so that's the fun of it, right? And, uh, yep, I forgot. You only need to open one side of it. Okay. Alright, looks like I'm going to be doing a lot of recycling. Paper unwrapped. Okay, and then here we have Box 2 for Sword Art Online North American release. I already have the first one obviously, but I just went ahead and purchased this. Now I do purchase these whenever I have the spare, uh, well, spare money I should say. But it's just whenever um, I, I can fit it within my budget. And whenever I think that it's, I've been waiting too long because I do want to complete the series and not have a missing box. So as long as I get all the boxes, it's fine. I mean, and these are a much more affordable to me compared to some other things I've been buying so eighty nine ninety five is a good deal with free shipping All right, so we got nice gold leaf or gold printed uh, font there for Sword Art Online limited edition blu-ray box set 2 and this is for the Iron Cred series in my opinion the better series get everything out. Okay, so I see the box is slightly uh, warped in. And, uh, oh, yeah, sorry, I believe this is a piece of paper. Yep. And here we have the, uh, oh man, what was the sword? Let's see, it was the Elucidator and the Dark, Re Dark Repulsor. There you go. I almost forgot the name. Uh, got some sticky residue still on there, so let's just get some scotch tape. Let's see if I can get rid of that. Alright, it looks like I didn't even need scotch tape, I just have to rub it off. And so now we have a nice clean box. Or back of the box. The top, got the same lettering up there. And the bottom. We have information. Which is actually nice for me, just because I'm a techie guy, so I kind of want to see what uh, quality stuff they put into this. Approximately 175 minutes. So let's see, divided by three. I don't know, you guys do the math. Alright, so in the box we got the, well, inside the box we have the Blu-ray case. So we got double images here, so you can see that they're trying to incorporate most of the artwork used for the Japanese release. Let's pop this bad boy open, and we have two discs in here. Disc 1 is the Blu-ray containing the episodes, along with disc 2. Let's see, disc 1 contains, I'm not sure. Let's see, is there an informational panel somewhere? Nope. Let's see. Contains episodes 8 through 14, so I'm guessing, uh, let's see, 4, uh, 3 on each. Just have the nice cloud background behind the CDs. Okay, put that aside. Then we have a Staff Interviews DVD, which I wonder if it's the American staff or not. Let's see. Well, if I ever watch, I'll let you guys know. Okay, and then next we have an illustration booklet. Just kind of nice the fact that they also include uh, the uh, postcards, the art cards. Now, it looks like some of these are actually from the. Uh, actually, I don't remember if this was in the uh, Japanese release. That's nice. I thought it was a single image. Hmm. Okay. Alright, and it looks like we have a small amount of ads here. So we have one big ad here for Fate Zero. On the back side, something about Sword Art Online, trading cards, and we have a Lovely Girl UE card. 
Yeah, that's nice. I still don't know what the game's for or the card. We have a proof of purchase card, which I won't show because it has some kind of number on it, which I think is important. Uh, we have an Aniplex uh, survey card, which seems to be in line with Funimations. And let's see, and then we have a little some packet of nice illustrative art. Let's check it out. Now, these are actual postcards, as you can see. Place stamp here, but you know, who would want to give these away? And people the mail or USPS or whichever mail service you use will probably think you're weird from using these from cultural differences. Okay, so we got us now there. We have oh, okay, her hair is a little weird, but Kirito and Asuna and um, Heathcliff. 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 Okay, no more art there. Some nice chibi art here. Hopefully that's not the spicy sandwich. Some more. Oh man, the feels for this. Okay, so a little bit of service. And uh, I actually have the original scan of this from the studios on the computer, which is about I believe eight megapixels big. Or not eight? I don't know. That's really large. It's like the pixel rating, the resolutions in the thousands. I can zoom in really far into the point where I can actually see the uh, the fibers. So I believe it was printed on a very f like art paper or something. But anyways, that's it for box two or box set two of Iron Crab Part Two of Sword Art Online Limited Edition Blu-ray for any release. Hope you guys like it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below what you thought. Like this video, and I'll see you guys next time.